In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter your data set. So let me explain why we may want to filter a data set. Sometimes we want to conduct some type of statistical analysis or create a graph or chart or produce summary statistics, but we only want to do it for part of our data set. So to give you an example, let's say you have a data set of all of the citizens in your town or city, and you want to be able to create some graphs and charts and some summary statistics for that data set. But let's say you're only interested in doing it for people who are under 30 years old, or for people who are registered Democrats, or for people that own a home and not those who live in an apartment. So, you know, we often want to go ahead and create analyses, but limit it to specific members of our data set. So that's what we're going to show you how to do today in this video. It's actually quite easy in SAS Studio, and um, it's as simple as clicking a few buttons and using a new task that you haven't learned yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and under tasks, I'm gonna go to my data category, and you see here, I'm going to use the filter data task. So you're gonna start there. So I'm gonna open the filter data task, and again, to, I'm gonna maximize my workspace so I have lots of room to work in. I know you're so tired of using sashelp.cars, but it's such a great data set to illustrate examples that we're gonna continue using it for uh, this video as well. So what you have to think about before you do anything on this tab is you have to think about what am I looking to filter by? And you can filter by both quantitative and categorical columns in your data set. So you, know, you totally get to choose what you want to filter by. So if you have a data set Again, that is of your citizens, I can say I only want citizens that are registered Democrats and make under $50,000 a year. So you have one categorical data point there and you have one quantitative data point there. So that's what we're gonna do today in this particular filter. So I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and I only want to look at cars that are SUVs and I'm only interested in SUVs that cost less than $35,000. So that's what we're gonna filter by. So first thing, of course, you select your data set at the top and I already have sashelp.cars selected. And um, I'm gonna, first of all, work on my first filter. So let's start with that we only want to include SUVs. So under uh, variable one, we're gonna click on the plus and in order to filter by SUV, that is the type variable. So I'm going to click on type and click OK. And so I'm only interested in SUVs. So for the comparison drop down, I want to say that the type is equal to because I'm looking for a specific value. And for I can either type in a value which I don't have to or I can uh, select a distinct value here where it says value type. So what SAS does is it automatically goes into the data set and looks at all the unique values of the type column. And in the drop down here where it says value, it shows you that we have hybrid, sedan, sports cars, SUVs, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna pick SUV. All right, so I'm done with that particular filter. And now I also wanna say I'm only interested in SUVs that are less than $35,000. So that's what I'm going to do. So now I have to create a, what we call a logical operator. So that means, do I want uh, the type to be equal to SUV or the price to be under 35,000? Or do I want it to be the type is equal to SUV and the price is equal to 30 or less than 35,000? I want the second one, right? I want it to meet both of these conditions. So I click and, and as soon as you do that, you'll notice that a second filter appears. So now I can add my second filter as well. So now I'm not going to uh, filter by type, I wanna filter by the price. And for the price, we'll use the manufacturer's suggested retail price or MSRP. And I will say it's going to be less than, and here I do wanna just type in a value. I don't want to, it to go in and look at all the unique values and display those in a dropdown. That would just be kind of crazy because there's so many different car prices. So here I will just type in 35,000, okay? And that's it you're done. If you wanted it to adhere to even more filters, I could do that. So if I said, oh, I'm only interested in SUVs that are under 35,000 and um, are all wheel drive, I could go ahead and do that just by going again under logical, clicking and, and adding a new filter, okay? So 
Um, I, I do want to show you that in the comparison drop down, you have all types of options. You have less than, less than or equal to. So for example, if I wanted the price to be $35,000 or less, including 35,000, I could do that. So we have less than, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to, greater than or greater than or equal to. So we have all, you know, plenty of different options depending on what you're looking to filter by. But you know, I'm done. This is what I wanted. I wanted where the type is equal to SUV and the MSRP is under $35,000. So I'm going to go ahead and run this particular task. And what SAS is going to output to you is the filtered data set. So you'll notice here in my results, I don't have very many. I only have um, 34 rows in my data set. And what are these 34 rows? These are the only SUVs in the data set. And if I scroll over to MSRP, you'll notice all my manufacturer suggested retail prices are under $35,000. In fact, if I sort by the MSRP column, the highest value is $34,560. All right, so that's part one of filtering. Now this is the second part is really important. So now that I've filtered this data set, how do I then go and use this new filtered data set in a task like uh, drawing a, a, a bar graph or a histogram or generating summary statistics? So let's just do a couple of these so you see um, how that works. So one of the things that SAS does is when you filter a data set, okay, it is going to go ahead and take that data set, filter it, and then save this new filtered data set as a differently named data set. So notice on my screen right now that it says this filtered data set at the top of the screen, it says table is work.filter0001, okay? Work is a temporary library in SAS. So when I created this filter, it created this new data set called filter0001, and it stored the data set in my work library. Any data set that's stored in your work library disappears when you quit your SAS session. So if you wanna filter a data set and then use that in some of your analysis, you have to filter it and then do your analysis while you're there. You can't filter the data set leave SAS and then come back and try to find it because it won't be there if it stored it in work. You can store data sets in other libraries that don't automatically delete when you quit your SAS session, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So now when I want to conduct analysis on this new filter data set, I'm not going to conduct it on sashelp.cars because sashelp.cars is the original data set with all of the variables and all of the columns in it. The new data set is called work.filter001. So let's take a look at that. So let's say I want to go ahead and do some summary statistics on this data set. So I'm going to bring my uh, tasks back. I'm going to go to statistics. I will go to summary statistics okay, and maximize my uh, workspace. Now again, I don't want to pick sashelp.cars. I want to go into select a table. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see my work library. So I'll go to work and you'll see the only data set in there right now is filter 0001. So I'll click that one. And now I can go ahead and pick the values that I want. So now let's say I want to take a look, I want to conduct summary statistics for MSRP and oh, I don't know, miles per gallon for the city. So I click OK and I run that. And here is my output. But again, this is the output for the filtered data set, not the original data set with all the cars in it, no matter what the price was. You're only going to get um, the data for the filtered uh, data. So let's go ahead and draw a graph. So we'll go here, we'll go into the graph category, and oh, I don't know, let's go ahead and create a histogram, maximize our workspace. It's automatically selecting work.filter0001 because that was the last one that I used. And um, I will draw a histogram of the length of the vehicle. So I'll go ahead and run that. And there's my histogram for the length of the vehicle. So again, it's conducting that on the filtered data set. Okay. And so that's, it's really easy. Now, if I go back in, let's say, and let's say I use a different data set. Let's say I conduct um, a filter on a different data set. So let me, let me go ahead and do that. And I want to show you something that will happen. So I'm gonna go in here and let's do it on um, sashelp.class, which is a very, very simple data set. 
Okay. All right. So I'm going to look at sashelp.class and I will add my first. And here we'll say um, I want to only do this for women in this data set. So I'll select sex uh, equals select distinct value women. And I'm not going to do a second one. Okay. So I'm not going to fill in this, uh, the second one here. Or actually, you know, let's go ahead and do it. Let's say I'm only interested um, in students in this class that are over seven years old. Okay, so I click OK, and I'm going to say age is greater than enter value, not 35,000. I'm going to go ahead and say greater than seven. I'm going to go ahead and run this. And notice what SAS is telling me. It's saying that the data set work.filter0001 already exists. Do you want to overwrite the data set? If you say yes, it's going to replace that work.filter0001, which currently has data from sashelp.cars in it, with this newly filtered data set in it. Okay, so if you click no, um, it's just not going to run the task. Okay, so you know if you, it's just warning you that that's what it's going to do. But if I go ahead and click run and say yes, okay, I still have work.filter0001. Okay, but now I'm only getting now this data set includes students in my class and has nothing to do with um, the sashelp.cars data set. So just be very careful that you work on one data set at a time if you're using filtering. So that's really it. Again, I encourage you to explore the filter data task so you learn more about it and how to create uh, different types of filters on your data. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.